Perhaps the most important application of the time value of money in real estate is when we do a discounted cash flow analysis. The interplay of timing and amount of cash flow can tell us a lot about the performance of our investment. I invite you now to watch a brief excerpt from one of the lessons in my course on real estate investment analysis where I discuss this topic. I hope you find it interesting and I hope to see you in class. Now with a typical income property, you're likely to be holding for longer than a single year. So how do we discount a future return if we feel that we need to wait more than one year to receive it? Well, let's take a look at this example. Let's say that we're going to have to wait five years to receive $100,000. Let's also say that we feel we need to discount that future cash flow by 10% because we feel that 10% is the kind of return that we could have earned with that money if we had it in our hand today. Well, if you recall our example of waiting one year to receive $100,000, you'll see that we can go out to year four here and say, okay, how much would I have to have in year four for it to grow at 10% to $100,000 in year five? Well, the answer to that question is $90,909.09. .09. If you took that $90,909 and increased it by 10%, it would equal $100,000. You might be asking, $90,909.09. .09. How exactly did I come up with that number? It's really very straightforward. The question is, what number, n, increased by 10% equals 100,000? So when we increase something by 10%, we're really saying we're going to multiply it by itself plus 0 0.10. So we're going to say, what number times 1.10 equals 100,000? Instead of multiplying when we move it, we divide. So now our formula looks like this. What number equals 100,000 divided by 1.10? And the answer is 90,909.09. .09.